Yeah, it played out. I mean, you know, listen, we're down. Um, we had two things going in our favor to be able to do that. We have a rested bullpen, and we have um, an extra guy on the bench. So those bode well for what that looks like. I mean, Wade, um, you know, got through, and once we go to go the third time through the order and the fourth with the righties, that it had some good looks at him. Um, and Rizzo, who's got good numbers on him, you know, we decided to um, go ahead and get Garcia in there, whose stuff looked good. Um, you know, unfortunately, uh, of course, it looks like Contreras is okay, but you know, um, went out there and threw, and then the bullpen kept it close all the way. And you know, we were trying to score some runs, get the, get tired, or get the lead, so we could get to the back end, back end guys. And you know, we get to Cabby in, in the spot we wanted him to before the game in the seventh, and. You know, just wasn't as sharp as, as he's been. A um, couple walks, hit batter. Um, and at that point, you know, we, we went to went to junior. But, you know, Miller got his guy, Justin Miller. Andrew Miller was good. Helsey was really good. Um, so, you know, just weren't able to, to to post to be able to get the back end guys in the game, score, score more runs after that two-run third. That's something that builds in this game. I mean, you guys were able to the Cubs runners on base, I mean, you know, yeah, of course. I mean, we got to stop them sometime. You know, I mean, Wade was in traffic, made pitches, um, almost got out of that bases loaded deal in the in the first. Um, you know, Dylan came in, almost made a shoestring catch, and and um, you know, obviously that would have been a huge play. But um, you know, clearly we can't do that every night. We had the opportunity to do it today, and um, again, staved them off. You know, played in traffic, got out of traffic, played in traffic, got out of traffic. All the way to the seventh, and just um, you know, you do that after a while. You you know, sometimes you get burned, but um, you know, kept it close, and then they got away from us in the seventh, and you know, pushed in the last inning. Paulie with a good swing, Goldie with a nice stroke, but uh, not enough. Wade walked it, walked it, three guys, and then uh, Dennis comes in there, and you mentioned walking two guys with Justin to maybe pretty tight strike Yeah, you know, I don't know. I didn't. It's hard to say. You know, we looked at it during the course of the game and felt like he, Timmy was pretty good. Um, you know, tight or not, got to make pitches. But, you know, walk seven, hit three. It's just, <laughs> you know, you can dodge left and right, but eventually it can catch up with Then we dodged and, you know, Brian put a swing and then Wisdom got him after that. Hey, you know, the reason was just because we're workers and we have to double check. Um, Nolan, don't hit part of that double switch, get him off the yeah, that's right. I mean, he's going to have the all-star game and, um, you know, get some little bit off his feet in a game that's a little one-sided. So, um, you know, that's why I didn't want to, you know, announce Carp. No, Paulie's going to come up and hit in the, in the three-hole. Um, so I didn't want to burn him right there. So, uh, of course, you know, could have done that. But, yeah, that was the reason for getting the one off his feet a little bit. Thank you. Brandon Schaefer, KMLB. Mike, the approach in the third inning against Hendricks seemed to be working for the guys being aggressive in the strike zone and getting base hits. What do you think made it difficult to be able to sustain that as the game went beyond that inning? Um, yeah, you know, guy makes his pitches. Um, that's been our approach where we've tried not to do too much damage. You know, Sosa lined out um, after Bader's hustle double. Um, you know, a lot of good at bats in that inning. You know, Dylan had a really good day, man. What a good day by Dylan Carlson. He really played well. Um, and took some great at bats. Phenomenal job by Dylan. Um, but yeah, just trying to take you Neil know, Nolan going the other way, Yadi O'Neill. You know, we're not trying to do too much on this guy, but you know, this guy's got pretty good stuff in a sense that a lot of late movement pinpoint. So it's easier said than done. The approach was good. Um, had him on the ropes a little bit, and um, you know, I liked the way we swung the bats against him. We just couldn't couldn't get on top. What was your impression of the, the play that happened there down the right field line and the explanation you got from the umpires on the call ultimately after their review? Well, it's hard for me to see it, first of all. Um, you, you know there's virtually no foul territory here. Um, so if a guy, And I also know that, um, you know, Hayward had to go a long way to, to make that play. And then my just general instinct was, you know, if a fan interfered with it, A, it's probably – you know, a fair ball. So you could have easily gone a double. And then you realize he had to go a long way and try to catch the ball on a run against a fence, or a wall rather. Um, degree of difficulty is fairly high. You know, it been different if he was camped under it, like, you know, Jeffrey Mayer, you know, 
basketball years ago with Tarasco, but, um, you know, not the case. And so, you know, they gave the explanation on the field, um, but they had to check on the field too, which also tells me that I'm not completely certain, you know, they did their due diligence, they checked, um, you know, it's not a crew chief review, it's a challenge. And at that point, I challenged and I, and I made it really clear. I said, appreciate the fact that, you know, which should not matter, but we're, we are on the road. You know, we're got, teams are going to, you know, look to maybe do something. Probably would have done it anyway, Jeffrey Mayer. Um, but, but um, you know, I said, just appreciate the degree of the difficulty when you ask about, for the replay, because I'm challenging this, and he was not camped, and you can't assume a catch um, against a fence. Clearly, they looked at it the other way, and, and, and you know, you guys do a great job. It's a really good crew. Um, and I don't know who the replay guys were in New York. They're all, you know, stand-up guys. So, um, but I took exception with that one.